Um, my name is still Hunter Gertz, and I'm still a senior at Abraham Lincoln High School. Four stories seven years ago! This is my poem. Uh, it's called A Night of Motley Crew. Let's take it way back, back before I was even a thought, back before my parents even met each other, back when they were still teens growing up in a world who didn't want them, so they had to make their own rebellion to let their problems be known. And Motley Crue was leading that party lifestyle. Well, I guess not much has changed. We still grow up in a world that likes to stuff out our dreams and calls us reckless and ungrateful, so I idolize Motley Crue. <laughs> Probably not the best band for me to idolize. I mean, they are the antithesis of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And if they taught me anything, was banded at sell because they had me sold. And because I'm just an angsty teen with a lot of problems, I told myself, what's money if it can buy a beautiful veil of fun? The day started out like any other day. I woke up in my soft bed, cold, cuddled around myself for warmth. I met my friends for a movie, but something about me I was a little more untamed that day. Something about me wanted a little more wild child, so I did what any good rebellion teen does, and I cranked up my rock music, and I didn't care if I was playing my music a little too loud. I didn't care if I was being a little too reckless. I'd be damned if I wasn't proud. I mean, sometimes I think, or I believe we need to bring it back to a time of the fast cars, wrecked houses. Bring it back to a time of long hair, leather jackets, and tight pants. Bring it back to a time when this world had no second chances, because no matter how hard you scrub, you can't wash away past traumas. We need a second coming of rebellion and I'm gonna be public enemy number one. So I cranked up my radio to the max with Motley Crue and the rest of my rebel playlist. Yes, it's a hundred songs all with the flavor of rebellion. We headed eastward to get my first tattoo without permission because when you're 18, you're an adult. Well, at least on paper, if you ask my parents, you'll definitely get a different response. But I didn't care that night. That day was mine, so I let my wild side take hold and guide me from here. We headed westward to a club, or to a place of masks, a club shadowed by the dead of the night where men were like zombies and a dollar bill equaled a cheap thrill and it was said that Dr. Feelgood lived there. I didn't feel out of place there. Instead, I let myself take more of what was already eating me from the inside out. Her name was Neglect. I let her overshadow any reason and logic. She told me it was $50 for three, do for three minutes in heaven, but in hindsight, the math doesn't really add up quite right. $10 for a quick high, sure, but when you come down, you're just dragging everyone down into your own hell with you. But that was okay, because it was all in the name of rock and roll. Probably not. As I woke up the next morning, rolling out of my friend's couch, a place where I'd slept better than I had in weeks, I had a moment of realization. Rock and roll is just a great cover story for someone who feels like he doesn't have a home. Sex is just a great lie for someone who's struggling to love himself. And drugs are just a great disguise of warmth for someone who wakes up every morning cold. But am I going to do it again? Most definitely. Because I love a great cover story. And I was told never to say no to a friendly offer. And besides, one life, right? <laughs>